What's up guys, it's Beef Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you another insane trading method that's going to help you guys make a ton of coins on FIFA 21. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you guys jump over to the channel here and you hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21, so it would mean a lot if you did help us get there. And then if you enjoy live streams, make sure to come check out Twitch, drop me a follow, come hang out in the streams, and check out all the other links in the description like Twitter, Discord, TikTok, all that good stuff. And with all that said, let's just jump right into this trading method. So guys, today we're going to be looking at another method of what we like to call coin farming, a very simple, easy way to make coins. And let's just jump right into it. So basically, if you don't know what coin farming is, typically, it's just going to be a method where you're picking up tons and tons of cards at around their lowest price and just flipping them nonstop. It's a continuous, just low amounts of coins getting spit into your club. And over time, it builds up to a ton. So basically, what I'm going to be showing you today is a method where you're going to be going through the league SBC leagues. And I want to show you first starting with the era divisie here. So what you want to do is you want to set your max bidding price to 150, your max buy now to just anything that's super high. That's what you're going to use it to refresh. And you set the chemistry style to basic so you're not getting goalkeepers in this. And then basically what you do, you hit triangle Y to search. And then you're going to go through and you just bid on every single card is what you want to do. So you're going to come through. As you can see, these ones only 150 here. We're going to be picking all of these up. And essentially what we're going to be doing is right when we buy all these guys, we're going to take them and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to list them right back up right away once we win them. And since we're winning these for minimum price, basically we're going to be making profit on every single card here because these will get bought up for more than 150. And what I like to do is I like to circulate through the league SBCs. Maybe you go to one that has a little bit more expensive cards. As you saw, those Eredivisie ones weren't going for a ton. Maybe you jump over to the Mexican League here and you bid on some cards. But as you can see here, lots and lots of players that we're going to be able to win for about 150 coins here and make some very easy coins off this. And the reason we go through the League SBC Leagues is these are the silvers that really have continuous demand for them because there's people always doing those League SBCs. But we typically avoid the Major Leagues because those silvers are typically more expensive and more difficult to pick up. So, and as you can see, these ones really aren't hard to pick up at all. As we're bidding on all these cards, it looks like we're going to be winning a majority of them, hopefully. But yeah, this is basically the idea. You just go through, bid on as many cards as possible. And then after we get through here, I'm going to go over, jump over to my transfer targets and just kind of show you guys what we've ended up with and what kind of profit we're going to be making. And I've been doing this like the last day or so, just trying different methods. I'm really enjoying doing yesterday's video. Um, it is just rare bronzes. I like that a lot. I've been testing out position modifiers, certain ones. So I'm going to continue to bring you guys that type of stuff. But let's go ahead. Let's check out our transfer targets here. And as you can see, we're winning lots and lots of cards here, all of these for 150. And what I want to show you is my transfer list here, just a bunch of cards that I've won here. And as you can see, everything is sold for at least 300 coins right here. You're going to get some like 200s, whatever, just some cards that don't sell. But everything there went for 300 or more. Every once in a while, you get a guy that's 1,000, 2,000 coins. You make a lot, a lot of coins on. So that's kind of the idea here is you just start flipping these guys. And when you look at it, if you're buying them all for 150 and selling for 300, you're effectively doubling your coins on every single card here. Like this guy here, not much for him, but we'll list him 300 and he'll eventually sell. As with most of these guys, if you just list them 300, after a couple listings, they will 100% sell for you. No question. It might just take a couple listings, depends the time of the day, what SBCs are out, but you will always make your coins with this method, no question. Because you're doing it with the League SBC cards that always have this demand for them, this continuous demand because of the League SBCs that are out right now, which helps a ton with this. And as long as you're bidding 150 and like this guy, we're just going to list 200. Even if he sells for 200, you only lose 10 coins on tax, so you still be making profit on that card. 
this guy as well will list in 200 and if he sells 150 you're literally losing what is that you sell for 150 you're losing eight coins on tax it's not that big of a deal if they don't sell for more if they do just sell 150 you're losing eight coins on tax and you make that back on any other card that you sell so effectively it's a no risk method as well it's very easy and it's just a continuous method as well that you don't really have to take breaks from unless your transfer list fills up because as you can see you just keep on winning cards keep on listing them up and making easy easy coins like this so that's kind of the idea here is just kind of get you try to get as many cards in as possible you don't worry about the price that you're bidding at you don't worry about what they're going for you just try to pick up as many as possible and you'll just be making easy coins like that i think it's a method that kind of flies under the radar as well because a lot of people aren't interested like me if you've got two million coins you aren't interested in making a couple hundred coins on a card however it could be very ben beneficial because i mean you could e you could very easily make 50k in an hour doing this like no question could make 50k in an hour if you just continuously flip cards like this it just depends obviously it comes down to luck if you hit any big cards and just how many people are doing this method at the same time as you but guys that's going to be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video